Oh, hello, my little unicorns. I miss you guys. If you're a grown ass man, don't be embarrassed because I'm calling you a little unicorn. Unicorns are powerful and magical creatures and they are genderless, so everyone can be a unicorn. And to be a part of this beautiful family of beautiful unicorns, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have you done it? Still waiting? Have you? Okay, now that you're a part of this family, you can watch the rest of the video. This video today is going to be me, myself and I teaching you a little bit of Portuguese. So I have done this video before, learn Portuguese with me. I've done it oh, maybe last year, I don't know. It's a long time ago. It has a lot of views and a lot of views. For me, it's a lot of views. Whatever. I felt like you guys kind of liked it, it was kind of funny and Portugal is getting a lot of tourism lately and you have like all these big countries like Mozambique and Brazil and some other countries that speak our language, Portuguese is a very speak language all over the world and it's pretty useful if you're going to travel and you need some lessons, you're welcome. The last time I did this I teach you some funny random words and today to spice things up I'm going to be teaching you about expressions my setting is ruined so bye guys thank you for watching Sorry, I'm gonna fix this don't mind looking at my butt okay all done so let's start this my friends so the first expression we have it's no tempo da Maria Cachucha. So the literal translation of this, what this literally means, it's in the time of Maria Cachucha, which is the name of a lady. I don't know who the hell Maria Cachucha is. This is a funny name. I would kill myself if I was called Maria Cachucha, but it was probably someone important or not. I don't know. But what it means as an expression is that it's something from a long, long time ago, like it's so old. Imagine if you heard someone say like, uh, oh, I used to be so skinny, and you're like, oh my god, that was a long time ago. In Portuguese, you would say, isso foi no tempo da Maria Cachucha. The next expression is tirar o cavalinho da chuva. The literal translation is take your little pony or your little horse out of the rain. It's pouring rain and your little horse is outside getting all wet. So take, remove your little pony out of the rain, please. So what this really means as an expression is just when someone is getting like high hopes or getting too excited about something and you're like, keep calm, hold your horses. It's like something similar to hold your horses because you're not gonna get it. Don't get your hopes that high. Imagine just you're competing with someone and the other person is like I'm gonna win this, it's so easy, it's like hold your ground, you're not gonna win this. So in Portuguese we would say Tira o cavalinho da chuva. The next expression we have is nariz empinado and the literal translation is just when you have like the pointed nose like pointing up and that means as an expression that you are full of yourself. So if someone is really cocky and walks around like this, you would tell that person has a nariz empinado. It's all about the nose, guys. The next expression is lágrimas de crocodilo. The literal translation is crocodile tears. What this means as an expression is that you are fake AF. All those tears you're crying are fake just like you. So if you see someone crying like a soap opera and you know very well that that person is just like a drama queen and all that drama is fake, those are crocodile tears. In Portuguese, lágrimas de crocodilo. The next expression is nasceste com um rabo virado para a lua. The literal translation is that you were born with your ass straight pointing to the moon. This means that you are very lucky. I have no idea who invented this. And it sounds kind of funny and crazy, but it's what it means. Like if you were born with your ass pointing to the stars and to the moon, you are a very lucky person. Congrats. The next expression is bater as botas. Literal translation is just smack or 
clap your boots this expression means dying it's not like a very delicate sensitive expression so don't go to like a funeral saying batera bota because it's kind of rude but you can tell it amongst friends or talking about something you can say to your homie like if you keep smoking so much you're gonna clap your boots mm. in portuguese vais bater a volta the next expression is engolir sapos the literal translation is swallow frogs but what we really want to say when we say this is that you're doing things that you don't want to do for a greater good like imagine if you're working and you hate your job but it pays well you have to swallow a lot of frogs in order to keep working there you know like if your boss is a bitch but you like the job and like the money you need to swallow a lot of frogs there keep doing that stuff that you don't want to do so that's what it is English sapos we all have done it friends we all have done it. Next expression, dar o braço a torcer. This literally means give your arm away for someone to twirl and twist. But what this really means is if you're very hard headed as a person, you argue until the end of the world, you're very, very stubborn, and you're finally like, okay, you're right. You're giving your arm to twist. In Portuguese, dar o braço a torcer. It's like when you're finally acknowledged that someone else is right and you just need to accept it. The next expression is chegar a roupa ao pelo. But the literal translation is like pressing your clothes against your fur, your body hair. What the expression means is just kicking someone's ass. This would be something you'll probably use to thread somebody, like it's like I'm gonna kick your ass, but don't do it, guys. Be peaceful. The next expression is muitos anos a virar frangos. The literal translation is that you spend a lot of years rotating chicken on that grill. Just keep twisting that chicken. But the real meaning of this expression is that you're very good at something because you spent a lot of years like practicing so it's a good thing if you're like an expert in uh, sports if you're a very good football player and people say oh you're so good you can say next expression is Partir o coco aqui. <laughs> Literal translation is breaking a coconut from laughing. And what it really means is that you laugh your ass off. You laugh so hard you break that coconut, girl. The last expression we have, I know you're liking this card, but I need to go. I have my laugh. The next expression is Quem vê caras não vê corações. What this literally means is that if you see the faces, you don't see the heart. This one is kind of obvious. What this means is that when you meet someone, you only see their faces, you cannot see like the real person inside. So, as a lot of fake people out there, be careful my friends. If you see the faces, you never see the hearts. Don't trust no one. This was super duper fun and I could be in here forever talking about Portuguese expressions and Portuguese words. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this and if you want to learn more about this beautiful language that is Portuguese. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button once again. Give it a thumbs up if you think this is funny and see you guys next week. Posting every Thursday. Don't forget about it. Love you guys.